Hi friends, and welcome back to Miss Salem's classroom. Today I'm gonna to read a book about butterflies and the way that they look and the different patterns that they have. And we'll also make our own butterfly. This is the book that I'm going to read to you today. It's called Butterfly Colors. That's the title. The author, the person who wrote the book, is Helen Frost. These are real pictures, so a photographer took the pictures. There's no one that drew them. That means there's no illustrator. Let's get started. Butterfly wings have many scales. Wow, look at those little tiny dots. Those are called scales. Each scale is one color. Whoa, the scales can be different colors. That's amazing. I see many different colors here. The scales make the butterfly wings colorful. This butterfly is beautiful. It's blue and black, white and yellow. It's called a blue pansy butterfly. Butterfly wings can be one color. That's a beautiful orange butterfly. It's called a Julia butterfly. Butterfly wings can have patterns. This one is amazing. I see black and white, orange, red. It's called a lacewing butterfly. The patterns can be spots. Look at this one, it's black and yellow. It kind of reminds me of a bumblebee. It's called a tailed jay butterfly. The patterns can be striped. What animal does this butterfly remind you of that's black and white striped? Yes, you're right, it reminds us of a zebra. This one is called a zebra butterfly. That's pretty funny. A butterfly has two wings on each side of its body. One, two. This butterfly is called a great spangled fritillary butterfly. That's a long name. The two sides match. Look, both sides are the same. Blue, black, yellow, black, yellow. Blue, black, yellow, black, yellow. This one is called a golden banded forester butterfly. Another long name. The end, all done. That was a great book. I learned a lot about butterflies and, then their, and their patterns and the way that they look. Before we do our butterfly craft, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a butterfly with your hands. Do you remember when we learned how to make a heart with our hands? Remember? So that we can share love in our class. We made a heart and we spread the love around. Well, now you can make a butterfly that flies. Everybody hold your hands up. Hands up. Good job. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Good job. Now, I want you to bring your hands closer to each other, just like this. Boop, 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 until the thumbs touch each other. Now, scoop and fly. Look, you made your own butterfly. Do you want to try that again? Hands up, hands together, scoop and fly. Hands up, hands together, scoop and fly. <clears throat> Isn't that awesome? Okay, now to our fun craft. We are going to make our very own butterflies, like this one. All you need is some paper. You can use colored construction paper. You can use white paper and then color it afterwards. 
You can use lined paper, whatever you have. Even a newspaper would be cool or a magazine. You'll need a pencil or a marker or a pen or a crayon, something to write with, and a pair of scissors. You'll also need an adult's help. First step, take one sheet of paper and fold it in half. See how I folded it? Now pinch the ends so that it can close up. There, my paper's folded in half. Now, starting on the folded side, I want you to make a big number three. Watch me. We're gonna do a big number three. Start on the folded side. One. Two. Can you see my number three? Perfect. Now, starting from the folded corner, I want you to cut along the line of your number three. Just like this. Watch how I'm doing it. I'm making sure that I do not cut my fingers because that would hurt really badly. You see my number three? Look what happens when I open it up. It's the base of our butterfly. Next step, take another piece of paper and cut out a one inch thick strip, just like this. If you want, you can keep it just like this or you can curve the edges. To make it one long oval. You see that? Now with the long oval, I want you to get your white glue or your glue stick. I want you to take the butterfly. I want you to put glue right in the middle where the folded line is. And then I want you to take your long oval and put it on, just like that. You see that? Super simple. Next step is the pattern, the design, or the colors that you'll put on. I'm going to do circles. So I'm going to remember that both sides look the same. So I'm gonna make two small circles and two large circles. Watch me. I folded my paper so that they can be even. There's my two large circles. Next, I need to make my two small circles. All right, now we're gonna take the glue and we're gonna add four dots of glue. One, two, three, four. You see that? Now, we want it to be the same, so I'm gonna take my two big ones and put them on the bottom, and I'm gonna take my two small ones and put them right on the top. Oops. Last step and the most important step is what we're going to draw on the butterfly. We're gonna draw the butterfly's face and the butterfly's antenna. My butterfly is feeling silly today, so I'm gonna draw a really silly face. Oh, he's so silly. Look at my butterfly. He's going, Ehh. and I'm going to draw two antenna. One, two, and there you have it. My very own butterfly. Now it's your turn to try. 
I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.